So Donald Trump has built up a campaign war chest of over $100 million that experts say he's going to use to help Republicans take Congress in the 2022 election. Don't count Democrats out yet, though. They've got some political advantages of their own. Let's talk about it in today's video. Hi, I'm Mike Greiner. I'm a lifelong Democratic activist who's concerned about the direction our country is taking. If you share my concerns, maybe you could like this video and subscribe to this channel. Maybe even click that little bell that will notify you when I post a new video. So Donald Trump has furiously been raising money since the election, building upon his lies about having lost the 2020 election. Sources say he wants to use some of this money to help win Congress for the Republicans. Now, that's no idle threat, because, of course, if the Republicans control Congress, that could create a situation where even if the Democrats win the presidency, they have enough votes in the House to stop certification of the presidential vote. We could face a real constitutional crisis if in 2024, Republicans control Congress and the Democrats win the presidency, which could easily happen. Now, Trump, of course, might not intend on in spending all this money in campaigns, actually. It would be quite unlike him to actually spend money that was raised to benefit somebody other than himself. And although, ultimately, spending money on the 2022 election might benefit him, that type of strategic thinking on his part would be quite unlike him. What's more is it really makes you wonder about a lot of these donations. After all, Trump has shown himself to be an unscrupulous fundraiser. The Republican website that raises money for Donald Trump quite unlike the Democratic one, which is non-profit, is a for-profit operation that has had to return an eye-popping over 12% of its donations as a result of stunts that it's engaged in to try to get people who really can't afford to make donations to be signed up for recurring donations without even knowing about it. Nevertheless, I think we'd be kidding ourselves not to think that the Republicans are going to have a lot of money in the 2022 election. Democrats need to step up to the plate to make sure that we have the funds we need as well. But we as Democrats do have an advantage, according to a Monmouth University poll, and of course, as always, I'll post links to the relevant articles down below. Support for Biden's various initiatives, including the American Jobs Plan, the American Families Plan, and the American Rescue Plan, all range from between 62 to 70 percent. In other words, people strongly support what Joe Biden's agenda is. And this is not even to mention Biden's very popular work on addressing the coronavirus, something that I talked about in another video. Ironically, and this really shows how much denialism the Republicans engage in, despite the fact that he has overwhelming support for his agenda, his approval rating currently stands at about 48%. Still a positive approval rating by about four points, something Trump never achieved when he was president. But the point is that on the issues that matter to Americans, Biden and the Democrats are actually strongly supported. In fact, according to this poll, every one of the issues, except for one, that more than 50% of the people say is of very high importance to them, every single one except for crime, majority say they trust Democrats more than Republicans. And with crime, they only support Republicans slightly more than Democrats, giving Democrats 48.4% preference. But on the other issues that people rank as most important to them, in order from least important to most important, which are unemployment, representing the values of everyday Americans, COVID, healthcare, and the economy, on every single one of those, a majority of people support Democrats rather than Republicans. And the margins of some of them are by quite substantial amounts. For example, on healthcare, 56.3% of the people support Democrats. And in COVID, 55.6% of the people support Democrats. And on issues just below the 50% mark in terms of their importance, for two of them, people strongly support the Democratic position. Those would be education and the environment. And for the third one on taxes, it's split 50-50 evenly. And interestingly enough, right below that on immigration, it's also split evenly 50-50. In fact, the only issue among the top 10 issues that people believe are important in terms of determining their vote, the only one for which they favor Republicans is on crime. And that one ranks sixth. So in other words, among the top five, all of them favor the Democrats. And some of them favor Democrats by substantial margins. Just as an aside too, on infrastructure, the public favors Democrats as well, with 51.5% of the vote. 
The only issues on the list, other than crime, where people favor the Republican position, is on national defense, where Democrats receive 49.4, terrorism, where Democrats receive 49.5, and the national debt, where Democrats receive 49.4%. So from an issue standpoint, the issues clearly favor the Democrats. And what's especially telling is on the economic issues, people favor the Democrats to take very strong progressive positions, positions that will mean more money in the pockets of everyday Americans. So the point is, as long as we can stay competitive financially and certainly organize at the grassroots and hopefully address the attack upon voting rights that the Republicans have been engaging in so that they can't engage in voter suppression in 2022, then the Democrats actually face a very favorable environment. What's more is that analysts believe that this year's Senate map really favors Democrats. So as long as we don't mess it up, which is always a possibility, but as long as we don't mess it up, and hopefully if Republicans end up nominating extreme pro-Trump radicals, then the Democrats might actually stand a chance of retaining control of Congress. Fingers crossed. Well, if you agree with me or disagree with me or have any questions, I'd love to see your comments down below. And if you could like this video and subscribe to this channel, that'd be a huge help. I'll see you in the next video. In the meantime, let's hope for continued progress. Thank you.